Hi, it's Lucy and I'm here to do my April slash Owl's Magical Readathon TBR. Hopefully by the time you see this, it's actually still the end of March if I got it up in a timely manner. I did this readathon last year in its first iteration and now it has only gotten bigger and better. It is hosted by Book Roast. Her actual name, I forgot, but her channel name is Book Roast. I will leave it down below along with all the information you need about the owls. It's basically a Harry Potter themed readathon if you couldn't already tell by the name. And it's based off of one of the two higher education tests that you take in the Harry Potter wizarding world, the owls or the ordinary wizarding levels. In this iteration, she has added the option to actually be taking the test as if you were going for a career. So she put out this super cool pamphlet that she clearly worked very hard on that lists all the careers and like the specific owls you would need to take for those careers. And for this readathon, I'm going for the gold for some reason. I don't know if that's the right analogy. Is that what those are called? I don't know. My career choice is of a ministry worker. And for that, five challenges are required, I guess. And in addition to that, the ministry worker career is kind of a special one in that you can like specialize within the career. Once you get to the newts level, which is a readathon that I think will be hosted in August, I wanna say, or maybe J June or July, I don't remember, but it will be hosted later in the year. And you basically take the newts based on how you did on your owls. So I would take the newts required for the ministry worker as well if I complete all these challenges. And basically with the ministry worker, you can decide what kind of ministry worker you're going to be. And some of the specializations require additional owls. And so because of that, I have decided to just add on those owls to my challenge. In theory, I have eight challenges that I want to do. And then I have my random picks, which I will talk about at the end of the video. So let's get into the books that I'm trying to read. The first challenge is to read an adult work. And for this one, I'm going to be reading Get Your Shit Together, How to Stop Worrying About What You Should Do So You Can Finish What You Need to Do and Start Doing What You Want to Do by Sarah Knight. So a couple of months ago, yeah, a couple months ago, I read Sarah Knight's other book, The Life-Changing Magic of Not Giving a Fuck, and it was enjoyable. I already own this. I bought those two books at the same time. So I thought I would just get this out of the way and continue on my self-help bender. And that is for the charm subject. I don't know if I mentioned that. The next subject is Defense Against the Dark Arts. And for that challenge, you need to read a book where the title starts with the letter R. Rest in Peace, Eliza Hart by Alyssa Scheinmail. I got this book at BookCon 2017. Yeah, because this came out in November 2017. I got the ARC and then I never read it. I literally picked up the arc because I think it was like a drop or whatever and I just happened to be walking by and I was like, yeah, I want an arc, yeah. So I got it. It doesn't seem uninteresting, which is why I kept it and I still have interest in reading it. I don't really know what it's about though. I guess it's about a girl named Eliza Hart who was found like dead after falling off a cliff and this girl named Ellie is trying to figure out what happened to her and Ellie was Eliza's childhood best friend but I guess they had a falling out at some time because before she died Eliza was like spreading rumors about her and all this stuff and now it looks like Ellie is a prime suspect for killing Eliza and so Ellie is trying to clear her name, figure out what the heck is going on. Sounds like there's probably an unreliable narrator based on what I read in the synopsis. History of Magic, a book published at least 10 years ago. Anne of the Island by Ellen Montgomery. This was on my March TBR and then I decided to push it back because it fit perfectly for this challenge. And yeah, it's the third book in the Anne of Green Gables series. I'm not sure how many books are in that series actually. But in this one, I think we follow her after she goes off to university. Potions read a sequel, Days of Blood and Starlight by Lainey Taylor. This is the second book in the Daughter of Smoke and Bone trilogy. This is a much beloved trilogy on booktube. A lot of people like it. I read the first book, Daughter of Smoke and Bone, last year, a couple years ago. I'm not sure now. But yeah, I really enjoyed it actually. I did have some problems with it, but I definitely enjoyed it more than I had problems with it. So I'm looking forward to reading the second book and hopefully the library gets it to me on time. Transfiguration, read a book with sprayed edges or a red cover. Odd One Out by Nick Stone. If you watched my December wrap up, I think, then you know I wasn't a huge fan of Dear Martin, which is Nick Stone's other book, but I am definitely willing to give her another chance. This book sounds really interesting. As far as I can tell, I still haven't heard like a good synopsis for this book, so I still don't really know what it's about, but it sounds like a true love triangle where the girl likes a guy and then the guy likes this other girl and the other girl kind of likes 
both of them or something, something to that effect. And it sounds really interesting and I'm looking forward to reading it. So those are the five main challenges that I need to do in order to be a ministry worker at all. And then the next three challenges are like I explained before, are so that if I decide I wanna specialize in something, I have the option to, since I haven't actually chosen my specialty yet because it's not Newt's time yet. Arithmancy, a work written by more than one author, Watch Us Rise by Renee Watson and Ellen Hagen. This was in my February TBR and then I never got to it. I actually have an arc of this, even though the book came out in February. Definitely pick it up if you're interested. But the bare bones synopsis is this about two girls who decide to start like a feminism club at their school. And when you start a club at their school, you have to have like an accompanying website. So they write posts about feminism and stuff. And then their blog posts end up getting like a lot of attention. That's like both negative and good and they have to deal with all the fallout of that. Care of Magical Creatures, a book with a land animal on the cover. If Cats Disappeared from the World by Genki Kawamura. I don't actually know what this is about. I'm pretty sure, oh shit. Okay, I never actually opened the book. I literally, I thought it was a book of poetry. <laughs> um, It's not, wow. I've been holding this book for like months. I literally, oh my God. <laughs> I thought this was a book of poetry. Like I did not, I had no idea. I literally had never opened it. Like I just saw the cover and it was so cute. And so I bought it because I was in England and I was on vacation or whatever. And I'm in shock actually. Okay, so I'm gonna read the like inside flap, which I never did. This young man's days are numbered, estranged from his family, living alone with just his cat cabbage for company. He is unprepared for the doctor's diagnosis that he has only months to live. But before he can set about tackling his bucket list, the devil appears with a special offer. In exchange for making one thing in the world disappear, he can have one extra day of life. And so begins a very bizarre week. That's so interesting. Yeah, okay, so that's really interesting. It's still pretty short. I thought it was, obviously I thought it was gonna be shorter because I thought it was poetry. <laughs> But yeah, it's still under 200 pages, so I'm still looking forward to reading it. I'm an idiot. Yeah, so you all caught that. Like, I caught that on camera. I'm gonna leave all of that in. And the last challenge I wanna complete is for Muggle Studies, and that challenge is just to read a contemporary. And for this one, I'm going to be reading Again But Better by Christine Riccio. You all know what this book is. You've all heard inklings of this book. Christine Riccio, better known as Poland Bananas Books, is one of the biggest booktubers, and she's been working on this book for, it seems like, two or three years now. And I got an ARC from the publisher on NetGalley for fun. And so I'm looking forward to reading it. This is gonna be my first booktube YouTuber book that I read, I think. I didn't read Zenith because that didn't interest me. The synopsis of this, I think, is it's about a girl who studies abroad in France and that's kind of all I know. So those are all the books for the Owl's Magical Readathon, and now we'll talk about my random picks. Every month I pick out three books randomly. I pick those books off my Goodreads TBR, and then I pick one of the three to read during the month. This month, since there are a lot of books on my like regular monthly TBR, I might not get to one of the random picks, but we'll see. So the random picks this month are Curtsies and Conspiracies by Gail Carriger. And this is the second book in the Finishing School series. The first book is called Etiquette and Espionage. This is like a steampunk historical fiction series that follows one girl whose name I forgot, who ends up getting accepted into a like lady spy finishing school. It's about like her adventures there, like the conspiracies and stuff around her. I remember the first book being a lot of fun, but I am on hold for this at the library, so this will probably not be getting read. The second random pick is The Hating Game by Sally Thorne. This has been all over booktube for so long. The basic synopsis I've heard of it is that it is a hate to love romance about two people who are like assistants at a publishing company and they hate each other and then they fall in love because it's hate to love. And this is Chelsea from Chelsea Dolling Reads favorite book, which is where I heard about it. This one might get read just because I already have the audiobook from the library, but I also kind of don't want to read it this month, so we'll see. And the last book is The Power by Naomi Alderman. This is a standalone dystopian novel that basically kind of examines what happens after all women across the world get these electrical powers so that they are like the physically stronger sex because they have powers and what happens to society after women get stronger, I guess. And yeah, I've heard some interesting things about it. I'm intrigued to read it, but this is quite long, quite a thick book. So we'll see if I get to this either. <laughs> my random pick is up in the air. You'll see in my April wrap up if I end up reading any of them, to be honest. 
those are all the books I have to talk about in this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you have any opinions about any of the books that I mentioned in this video, or you are also taking part in the Owl's Magical Readathon, let me know in the comment down below. Let me know your TBR. That'd be super cool. Again, thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and hit the notification bell if you like turning on notification bells. Follow me on my social media. I have Twitter and Goodreads because you want to hear all my funny banter on Twitter. I have like no funny banter on Twitter, but got to come up with something to say. And again, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.